is Shell of Shell's Creations and today I want to show you how I add links to video clips using QR codes. I love my photos and my scrapbooks but every once in a while I have a video that I wish there was a way that I could include that or save that. Um, it, as far as print layouts go there is a way that you can include that, uh, a kind of a shortcut of using a QR code and I'm going to show you how to do that. Today I am using the Aviator Kit and some photos of my son playing with airplanes that he's obsessed with right now. So the first thing that you need is a video clip and so um, that isn't very difficult. A lot of phones will take little video clips. I'm not talking about a 45 minute dance recital although you could include that as well. I'm talking about little snips, little bits that preserve things. For example on this one with my son it it has the the cute way that he talks, uh, the little verbal things that he says and does that, that I find adorable at this point that, that two years down the road or five years down the road or ten years down the road it will be fun to go back and listen to that. This is the video that I have. Uh, let me. Yeah. It just has the little bits of him and his little you personality. One time today. Okay and the second thing you need is a place to store it. Um, if you are comfortable with the longevity of YouTube or something else like that, you can go ahead and store it anywhere you want. I decided that specifically for my videos, I was going to purchase a domain that I could use to store my videos. And so it, I just picked a domain um, and then I've just uploaded videos there. But wherever you decide to store it, you will need the URL of where you stored it. I'm just going to go ahead and snag the URL from my website to show you as an example. Okay, then you need a QR code generator. You can Google QR code generator and a whole bunch of different options come up. I prefer qrstuff.com um, and I'll show you why. Uh, to begin with, you can choose what your data type is. In particular, mine is a website URL. Then you go ahead and paste your URL right here. And then in this foreground color section, you get to choose what color you want the dark spots to be. Now you do want them to be substantially darker than the white so that a QR code reader will be able to pick up the differences. And so I'm going to go to the layout that I'm ready for my QR code on. And I want to pick a color and I'm going to pick one of the, the color of this airplane. It looks like it's BF4 F27 and I'm going to type that in here. BF4 F27. Yeah, there we go. That bright orange rust color. That's all there is to it and that's why I like QR stuff because you can change the, the color of the, the QR code and it's possible to do that inside of Photoshop later but not neat or easy so I'm going to go ahead and do it here Then you just hit download the QR code and it will only take a few seconds until you'll have the QR code. Uh, now go into your uh, photo editing program. I'm using the Creative Cloud version of Photoshop right now um, and on the desktop Let's see, where is that QR code? Navigate to where you saved that QR code and open it up. Now in particular, the layout that I'm working on has a background that is off-white. I don't really have any bright white on there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that off-white color and I'm going to, to fix that on this particular code so that I can show you that. Create a new fill layer. Oh, first thing, the QR code is probably not in RGB mode. So let's go up here under image and change the mode to RGB color. Now we can add a new fill layer in that off-white code, or in, excuse me, in that off-white color. And then I want to change the blending mode on this to darken. I want this to show up, this off-white color to show up where off-white is darker than what's underneath it, which is everywhere it's white. So you will always choose darken on that. There you go. Now I have a QR code. I'm going to merge these two layers together with Commander Control E. Now I have a QR code that's going to be the right color. So I can go ahead and drag that onto my layout. Uh, and place it right over here in the corner where you want it. You can add a shadow, you could not add a shadow, but this is where my journaling is going to go and so that's where I've got the QR code. Now if you feel, if you're concerned that QR codes are going to go the way to beta, of Betamax or something like that, it wouldn't hurt to add in the end of your journaling even in fine print a URL. Um, so that people could just go to that website if they wanted to, but this offers the flexibility of if they have a phone as they're looking through their the scrapbook, they'll be able to scan that QR code and see those videos. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. See you next time.